hill pond at the moment with uh, a junior match April the 15th there are six juniors out and we have Alex Clements in attendance over there showing young Tom Stratford Chuke the ropes Here we are. That's the nose now. The world champion. Uh, <laughs> getting you and Tom into more fish. Oh Tom. Just slowly lift the, the top kit up. That's a little rub that is. So, oh never mind. <laughs> easy come, easy go. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna change the bait again just in case we make it. Next door to Tom. We've got young Ethan Etherington, who's on a England talent pathway. There you are, there's the voice of experience. It's a tiddler coming in. It's a swinger. Well done. They all count. Ethan's doing quite well at the moment, he's on the England talent pathway and he's starting to uh, get some good instructions. You may have seen him on course bait, him and Ben Barnett, who is directly opposite him over there. So if you've not gone onto the, their YouTube channel before, search course bait and uh, you'll see the videos that uh, Ben and Ethan are doing. Bit of road noise behind us, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Only six juniors out here today, but uh, they're all keen. They're all keen. Next one's Daniel Casbon, who's uh, quite keen. Daniel's doing quite well. Behind. Just ease it in, Dan. A little tinge. Oh no, it's a roach. Oh dear. It's a, tell me it's a tinge. There you go. And we'll uh, move around to young Ty over there on the far bank. Ty Hackman. With his dad, Andy. to tie. We've got TV personality and all round good angler, James Buckley, Mr Crabtree for those who have uh, been watching the series. He's a bit bigger now than, uh, than what they're showing. <laughs> oh, James likes using a long rod and centre pin, that's his favourite. He's not a pole man, there we go, and he's, and for camera he's caught for us, perfect.
We're getting some nice crucians and a little tench out today, the, the kids. That looks like a little tench. <laughs> Wrong again. It's, it's crucian. They look very similar. <laughs> I thought we had one round there, it was a roach. Oh, really? <laughs> oh we all make mistakes. <laughs> Lots of these little crucians coming out with the tentacles. There he is, look. Real Mr. Crabtree stuff, this. rivals, Ben Barnett accusing him of being a poser of all things. Yep. It's not very nice. And as he gets older he'll get much worse. Have you got any other tips then? Get these, get these big lads out of the way, and yeah. I can get the video camera in there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want big lad, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex giving uh, Ben some more one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if we can get anything decent on the inside. There we go. Small fish. What we'll do is um, we just we'll push some shot down yeah. closer to the hook bait. Because what's happening is them little fish are taking the uh, the bait to drop. So if we put some more weight down this end near the hook length, we're going to get past those small fish. And hopefully, um, there might be some big ones down there, just to get the bait down to the big ones. Right, so we've got our shot there, yeah. so if you're struggling to see the flow, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll take one shot off and I'm going to put a slightly smaller shot on there and that will just help lift the float a bit more. So I'm just going to take it off. Right, let's put a 10. I think I just took off a 9 and I've just put a 10 knot, a size 10 on there. And what we'll do is we'll change the hook bait again because we want a live a wiggling maggot. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Right. Now I think we've still got enough bait in there, so let's see. Let's have a quick look and see if we're getting bites. Then we'll see if we need to feed again. That's it, Tom. Right. Just have it just out of the water. Mark up to the far side, and then just lift the float up so it's just above the body and hold it for me. No more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right now, slowly lift it. Drop it in. Really slow. Perfect. Well done. There we go. Bite. Bite. <laughs> that one. Right, and again, so lift the float above the water. Wait, 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 wait. Now drop it in. That's it. Perfect. Put the pole down a bit. Right, you're going to get a bite in a sec. Ready? Is that a bit better or do you want me to get you a bit more float, Bruce? Yeah, there you go. Bite. Yeah, see, I just look really silly. Yeah, that's right. I'll take that shot off again. It should be about right. And then when, you're, when he's ready, you just want to slowly lift the top kit out. That's really good. And then lift, lift him up. There we go. Fantastic. Well done, Tom. I think you've got, it's a hybrid, I think. No skimmer. Oh, the yuck's come out as well. <laughs> well done. I'll take the top kit. That's it. Well done. 
Here, show Dave the fish. That's it. back in Ben. I'm going to put a smaller hook and a slightly lighter hook length on there for you. This is my hook length, if you hold them, I'll, I'll take that. Right. Gives you an idea of all the sizes I use, the hook types, the sizes and the line. So and that's all my backup. It's a bit empty at the moment, I've been a bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> Could be looking better, better than that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've taken off the short hook length yeah. there. Yeah. Um, because what I want to do is I want to lengthen, put a bit of length, or add it onto a hook length. Because it's quite, it's quite, it doesn't look smart, shall we say? There's a lot yeah, of yeah. you know loops and stuff. Yeah. The hook's quite big as well, yeah. and you want a slightly smaller one than that. Uh -huh. So we'll put that down there, uh, and I reckon a, a 012 on an 18 is going to be perfect. Now obviously these are slightly longer hook lengths, so what yeah. we'll have to do is we're going to have to plumb up again yeah. um, because obviously there will be a depth change. Mm. So hook lengths on, yeah. as you can see, yeah. we're going to move one of the shots slightly closer down to the loop, like so, yeah. um, and then that's perfect. Yeah. What Andy's set you up there. Right, right so there's We'll do. We're going to start introducing the maggots and the green fish meal you've got there again. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, that census ground bait, Ben. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then a few pinch of maggots. Yeah, and then just cap it off with the green ground bait. Not a ball, just cap it off. So put some in there and then tap it in. So we haven't fed for a while, so I'll just uh, put a bit of bait in. Right, let's have a go. So what we've done is we've given you a longer hook length, a smaller hook, and I think that will produce a few more bites. Very windy at the moment. Very windy. <laughs> Ethan posing. Foul hook fish. No, no, no. Bring, bring your arm back into your body. That's it. There you go, mate. Right. Again, you see the little differences, though. Right on the top, look, look. Right, let's get that. Right, maggot, let's get back in there. We should.